Hi there, oh, welcome to my views and news, breaking news for you at this time of the night. I'm recording this video because uh, what I have learned uh, uh, indicates that the Ethiopian government has declared a war in the Amhara region without actually declaring war. The government has made an announcement which amounts to declaration of war. The spokesperson of Ethiopian National Defense Force and Amhara Regional Government Spokesperson held a joint press briefing a few hours ago. I watched it, I got the translation, and after talking to people, I reached this conclusion. The press conference indicates the government has declared now a full-scale war on Fano. Details for you. Secondly, words, Iran uh, attacked Israel today. A few hours ago, Iran fired dozens of ballistic missiles on Israel. What was the target? Did the missiles manage to hit targets? And will Iran just stop? What will Israel do? Is it start of a broad regional war in the Middle East or Iran just conducting these strikes for pace saving? Because two major incidents have happened in the last uh, uh, few months. Ismail Haniya killed in Iran, allegedly by Israel. Then Iran's main ally, Hassan Nasrullah, uh, killed by Israel in Lebanon in air strikes. So what is Iran doing now? Is it starting a full-scale war or just a few strikes for face saving? Uh, let's start from Ethiopia, viewers, where we know that last year the military launched an operation against Fano. Operation has been ongoing for a year, but Fano groups could not be completely defeated, rather Fano groups turned into bigger groups. People like Taframamu joined them, Fano are now organizing themselves on regional level. They want to build codes, regiments. Military uh, has been holding uh, press briefing, issuing statements about the situation in the region, Amha region. But today, we saw an unprecedented type of uh, press briefing by military spokesperson and Amhara regional government spokesperson. It was as if the federal government and Amhara regional government took one clear position on Fano today. Position has been taken by government today. Colonel Gatnet is the spokesperson of the Ethiopian National Defense Force. If you remember, he's the one who used to brief us about the war in Tigray. Mangisha Fantahun is Amhara regional government spokesperson. Mangisha and the colonel held a joint press briefing. And the two said in their talk with the journalists that armed forces, armed groups, mean Fano, in the Amhara region, they have closed all doors to peace. They don't want peace. This is what the two said. That the government tried its best. It tried to hold consultation, public discussions were held. But these armed groups are not listening. They have an agenda. They are backed by historical enemies of Ethiopia. Who are historical enemies? When Ethiopia uses the word, words, historical enemies, generally it refers to Egypt. Sometimes RRT as well. So, the Pano groups are allegedly backed by Ethiopia's historical enemies. They don't want peace. Government are its best. But Pano groups are not listening. That is why. The government has now decided Hit Fano. That is what I'm saying. It's declaration of war on Fano in the Amhara region, which today was made by the government. And already, we are seeing a crackdown on 
हमारा रीजनल गवर्नमेंट रीजनल गवर्नमेंट ऑफिशल्स सिक्योरिटी ऑफिशल्स अलेजेडली इन कॉन्टेक्ट विद फॉन डजन रेस्ट इन द लास्ट सेवेंटी टू आवर्स दिस इज पार्ट ऑफ द न्यू डेक्लेन ऑफ वॉर ऑन फॉन रीजनल गवर्नमेंट स्पोक्स पर्सन सेट अलॉन्ग साइड कर मैसेज that regional government is on board with federal government regarding the crackdown on the government officials security officials who are being arrested for the alleged collusion with foreign groups now did government make any sincere efforts for negotiation with foreign because government is claiming it has done its best no i always say government never made genuine efforts for dialogue with fano at the same time fano is to blame as well fano groups not interested in dialogue they say no talks they say no talks with this government so both parties to blame but when government says it try its best to talk to fano it's lie did not it wanted to crush fano militarily it could not so now the government says everyone in the amhara region elders religious leaders people must support this operation it's a warning i think like we saw the warning during tigray war that people were told to back the war if and those who opposed the war they were uh, arrested they were harassed they were charged they had to face imprisonments They had to leave the country. Same could happen now in the Amhara region as well. Government has made it clear that no one, that everyone should support the security forces now in this operation. It's a big announcement. I believe that uh, the Ethiopian government has decided that uh, now there is no point in talking to Fano. It uh, does not want to waste time in. negotiating with fano it wants to use now military force to crush fano fighters fano groups so you will see now major operations against fano on fan you you'll see involvement of ethiopian air force drone strikes you will see involvement of uh, intelligence agencies you will see involvement of heavy weapon you will see uh, crackdown on people to in the amhara region Uh, who work as supporters uh, as sources for fun coming days crucial for peace and stability in the amhara region and in ethiopia too fano groups will be tested now can they survive this onslaught main onslaught major onslaught uh, we'll have to wait and see a uh, second viewers iran fired dozens of missiles on israel today today means a few hours ago iran had to fire these missiles because two iranian allies have been killed in the last few months hasan nasrullah killed uh, uh, last week and before that ismail haniya was killed in iran in tehran allegedly by israeli agents iran had to conduct these strikes missile strikes Iran fired ballistic missiles, which managed to penetrate Israeli air defense systems. Israel has one of the best air defense systems in the world. Iron Dome, Aero, other air defense systems, long range, short range, medium range are very effective. One of the best in the world. But still, if you fire a barrage of rockets and missiles, some manage to pass through. Some manage to penetrate their defense system. Even the best of air defense systems cannot. Uh, intercept 100% uh, projectiles so some iranian missiles definitely penetrated israel air space they landed at targets what were targets iran targeted israeli oil and military facilities reported nivatam air base was again hit if you remember nivatam was hit a few months ago to when iran fired missiles uh so again nivatam israeli air base was hit uh, some oil facilities were hit no news of in last case civil casualties 
you know we know that israel has invaded lebanon its military has entered lebanon israel wants to crush hezbollah because hezbollah leader has been killed hassan asula and israel now believe this is the time to strike decisive blows to completely defeat hezbollah iran now is uh, coming in the picture but will it continue attacks on israel to stop israel from continuing operation in lebanon or is it just a face saving strike that will see in coming days uh, will iran continue strikes or not i don't think i think it won't continue strikes it won't continue strikes i believe israel will therefore retaliate israeli defense force today said that uh, it will it, it respond but when how uh, that will decide that will be decided by israeli government let's see uh, people say it's the start of a broad regional war in the middle east if iran continues its strikes on israel it could be start of a big regional war if iran just now stops and waits for israeli response it means the strikes were just for face saving it won't lead to start of a regional war in the middle east let's see what happens think for watching